What if CO2 is good for you? Climate activists see carbon dioxide as some kind of satanic gas. It's an easy way to demonize hydrocarbons like oil, natural gas, and coal. But suggesting that carbon dioxide emissions will cause the planet to burst into flames? Or, as UN Secretary General Antonio Guterres called it, global boiling? These simplistic statements are propaganda, not science. If we look at the science, what do we find? If CO2 causes nominal warming, it turns out that this is good for food prices and food production. This paper assessed grain prices in Europe from 1500 to 1800 and found that colder temperatures meant grain prices would be higher due to poor production and vice versa. Warmer temperatures resulted in more productive grain crops and lower prices for consumers. Cold temperature reduces grain yields and increases grain prices. That meant economic destitution, civil unrest, malnutrition, and even salmons. One of the most popular stage musicals and films of recent years was Les Miserables, which is set in 1815, just outside the study period of this paper. If you recall, the hero of the story had just been released from prison. He'd been imprisoned for stealing bread for his starving sister and family. The story is based on the novel by French author Victor Hugo, who noted in the opening, so long as the three problems of the age, the degradation of man by poverty, the ruin of women by starvation, and the dwarfing of childhood by physical and spiritual night. So long as ignorance and misery remain on earth, books like this cannot be useless. So, nominal warming by the influence of carbon dioxide enriches society by lowering the price of our daily bread and causing crops to proliferate. In turn, society faces less risk of desperate acts of hungry men and women Ordinary people may not understand the science of climate change, but they understand what it means to go hungry, to be poor, to be desperate. Demonizing carbon dioxide and oil, natural gas and coal has created an energy crisis in most parts of the world today. This has been exacerbated by the conflict in Ukraine by Russia. That conflict and the high price of natural gas due to the restriction of supply that formerly came from Russia and Ukraine, means less fertilizer is being produced, as natural gas is the feedstock to make fertilizer. That will lead to less crop production going forward, and higher grain prices, more unrest, as people try to cope with heat or eat poverty. We can learn from history if we want to. Think about it. What if CO2 is good for you? Read our new report by Robert Lyman. Let's not pursue peak oil, the risks to society of a global oil shortfall due to climate fear. Get your tickets now for our October 17th, 2023 event in Calgary Sales end October 6th.